Hey, good afternoon, guys. Uh, glad y'all coming back here. Check out what's going on today. Hey, either you're going to love me or you're going to hate me by the time this video is over with because uh, it's Friday night. It's been a long week. Uh, kind of hungry right now. Not quite hangry, but hungry. Uh, so I said, what do I want to do? And I said, man, I always got a grill. I always love me some steak and taters. So uh, here's what's on the menu tonight. We got some fresh corn on the cob that's soaking up right now. I'll put it on the grill. I got some thick cut ribeyes that I'm gonna season up here in a few minutes. And then I got some baked taters that I'm fixing to season up and throw in the oven and get them all right and tender for us. Uh, and to do all that with, I got my BQ grill out going on right now, the big one. Uh, I got about four pieces of red oak burning down and we're gonna cook on live oak tonight, y'all. So embers, smoke flavor, oak flavor, gonna season up that uh, corn gonna put that flavor in that steak I tell you what we're gonna keep that steak simple tonight cuz it's gonna be salt pepper and garlic I tell you what I, when I do beef anything like that brisket ribs uh, bone-in roast anything like that for, for for steak or beef I just keep it simple but the only thing I'll dress up is I'll do a, uh, a bone-in roast uh, prime rib roast for a holiday or just whenever I want to do one on my smoker and I'll just do an herb deal, but for the most part, I just keep my beef simple. Because I let the flavor of the beef and the fat that renders out while it cooks and it drizzles down to that fire and it steams that flame up there and it just kisses it so good, puts that, mm, man, I just tell you what. So like I said, you gonna love me or you gonna hate me by the time it's all over with. So uh, let's get going. So like I said, I got about four years of fresh corn on the cob I've shucked them just a little bit, left the sips on there and a few uh, shucks on the outside to protect it. And what I like to do with mine is I like to soak mine before I put it on the grill. Uh, it steams it up and it cooks it up there and then I can pull that the silks and stuff back when it's done or almost done and I lay it right back on that grill grate and put some good char marks on there and some flavor going on. So that's one part of what we got going on tonight. All right. Right now, what I got, got my baking taters going on. Pretty good size, cause I'm pretty dang hungry right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give them a little bath in some oil, just some vegetable oil, olive oil. You can use butter, whatever you want to use on these things. Put a little bath on them. And I like to sprinkle mine with a little bit of kosher salt. What that does is that crispens up that skin. All right, and I, uh, I probably will not put foil on these. Uh, Cause I like that oven to bake it on in there, pull that moisture out of that skin, make that a uh, little bit crispy, put a little snap in there. Cause most of the time I eat my skin with my potato now. I don't leave nothing going on with a tater. Uh, top it with some sour cream, a little bit of butter, salt and pepper. Tell you what, son. So, all right. So let's get these dressed up. I'm gonna let y'all see what I do with dressing these up. And we're gonna do that. Go ahead and put them in the oven. All right, here we go. Like I said, I just put a little drizzle of oil on them. Just rotate them, rub it all up on there. Oil on this one. Rub it all up on there. And then, put a little bit of salt around it. Simple as that, man. I tell you what. There's a lot of people do some complicated cooking, but I do is I keep it simple as I can. Because what I do, I'm a busy kind of guy. Family, kids, work. I ain't got time for all that business. So, there it is. I'm going to throw this tray in the oven just like it is. I'm going to let them taters go for about an hour. Cut the heat off in the oven and just let them rest in there. And uh, just, just treat it like a steak. Just let it rest for 10-15 minutes. By the time all that's done, these steaks will be off and rested. And we're gonna have some groceries. Y'all don't go nowhere, all right? Hey, uh, welcome back. So, uh, grill's going down, burning down good. I got the grate on there, it's preheating, got it scraped off, going good. Uh, so, I'm gonna go ahead and put this corn down uh, first. Steaks are out here, coming up to temp. I just took them out of the refrigerator. I'm about to season them up. We're gonna do that together, y'all. 
So uh, let's go ahead and put some corn on the grill and uh, let's get on cooking. Like I said, I like to have this stuff soaked. Just place it right there on top of that fire. There we go. All right, we're gonna let that corn roast for a little bit. It won't take these steaks too long, so uh, let's go ahead and season them up. Let this salt and pepper garlic roll up in there and uh, let's make it happen. All right, guys, check out these ribeyes right here, man. Look at that thickness right there on that one. That's a small one. And here's mine right here. Woo, look at that fat cap going on right there. Look at that. Tell you what, it's gonna be some good eating right there. All right, so what I like to do is I just have me a mixture right here, just salt and pepper mix, almost a two to one uh, of each one, uh, but that's my own personal preference. But it's what I like, I use this in uh, most of my stuff. So let's put a little liver on all of it like that. And since these are thick, we're gonna go ahead and hit all the ends. Season it up. All right, and then I'll, uh, I like to go ahead and uh, hit the granulated garlic and uh, just put a sprinkle of that, just even a little coating. A little bit on the edges. All right, flip them over. Do it all over again. And a little bit of garlic. And that's it, folks. Like I said, I keep my beef simple. I let the, the flavor of the beef come out. And uh, the wood or fuel that I'm using, either gonna be charcoal or red oak, oak uh, red oak coals. So uh, let's let us uh, tend this corn on this grill. And we'll be ready to put some steaks on here in a few minutes, y'all. All right, as you can see here, we got this corn rolling. Look at there, coming up a little char. A little heat. Oh yeah. Alright. That's going on there. Let's get this thing out of the way here. Alright, we're going to move these over a little bit. Make them some room for the main event. Alright, as you can see right here, I got a good bit of coals up underneath here. A little bit of flame. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. I tell you what, man. That's some heat coming up right there. There's no, that's just, as you can see, that's just embers right there. That's not even over the flame. So, all right, the wife likes hers on the medium side or medium rare. I like mine on the medium rare side of medium rare. So, I'm going to throw hers on first, let it get going, throw mine on second, and then hopefully they'll be off at the same time. Let's see what we got. What? Look at that right there. Woo! Listen, listen. A little bit of sizzle. All right, we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes. Now, when I let my grill, when I grill, I keep my lid up all the time when I'm doing beef or I'm doing pork. The only, about the only time I put my lid on my grill down is when I'm doing chicken. Uh, barbecue chicken on the grill, I just like the way that goes. Um, that's just me, that's my personal preference. Uh, so you'll when uh, we're cooking out here together and uh, I'm cooking up anything but chicken my lid's gonna be up I just like the way the flame goes the heat goes uh, I know it takes a little bit longer but for me the flavor of the fuel is better with for me when the lid is up so let's get on back here and tend this fire tend this steak and uh, keep it going so look at there so far so good no flame ups going on over here still got good heat Put that corn over here a little bit closer to the heat. Keep it going. Ain't no big hurry. I'm gonna let these steaks are thick. They're still kind of cool from being inside, so I'm just gonna let them take its time. Let that flavor roll up in there, soak up in there, and I'll tell you what, 
it's gonna be some good eating going on. So, throw the coals a little bit, burn up a little flame, and we about ready to put this big steak on here right now. Just gonna let it cook over the coals. A little bit of sizzle. All right, we're gonna move this up out of the way. We're gonna slide him up over some more heat. He's a little thicker. He's gonna need a little heat going on. So, all right, we're gonna watch these steaks. Make sure we don't have no serious flame up. That grease starts dripping, and uh, we'll be on back. I think we're about ready to flip these steaks here. Let's flip this in here. It's been on here the longest. Woo! Would you look at that right there? Look at that caramelization. A little bit of crust going on. All right, let's flip this big old steak right here. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, man. You know how much money you have to pay to get a steak like that? Here you are, doing it yourself. So we're gonna let them get on the flames a little bit longer on this side, and she'll be done here in a few minutes. Look at this flame coming up here. It's kissing this steak, getting it good, and we'll move it off to direct heat. And we might slide this big old steak over here close by. Let it catch up. We're getting done. Keep an eye on my corn. See that gear right there? Let's put this. That's the more the raw end right there. See how squishy that is? That's on the rare side. That's getting to be medium rare right in there. So we're gonna let this go a little bit longer. This thing's still way rare. I know some of y'all just said, give it to me now. I like a little, I like all the fight left out of mine. Kicking over live fuel like this, you just gotta keep rotating for your hot spots now. As the grease drips from ground, different areas, you gotta move your corn over. Starts catching different pieces of wood on fire, grease drips here, grease drips there. So, it's a good challenge and that's what I like about cooking on this thing. You just can't rush thick cuts of meat like this. You have to let them cook. They're done when they're done. So, just be patient, keep moving around the grate a little bit. Everything is gonna be just fine. Trust me. Woo, look at that. Man, that's nice. Don't be afraid to flip your steaks more than once or twice now. This is still the fatty end and it's the most rawest end. This is getting about there. This steak here still got a little bit to go. It'll be all right though. All right, let's see what some of this corn looks like. I'm gonna let it rest a little bit before I peel it, shuck it. Like I said, this, is, this wood comes from a tree that was in my yard I had it cut down. I had it split, it's dried, it's aged probably about a year and a half, two years. So she's burning good and good flavor. I also burned this wood in my fireplace in the winter time. Ow. All right, we're gonna put this corn down, put a little char on it. Going to take the shucks off of it. Most of the silk comes off automatically. So. Grill it up good. Ooh. 
Hold it hot. That there. There we go. Alright, and your steak's about done. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. Put it on the platter right here. Let it rest. Put mine back over the heat a little bit. She's getting there now. Look at that crust on that thing. I think we're gonna call this steak good. It's good resistance going on there. I still think it's on the, uh, it'll be warm, cool in the center. That'll get a good medium rare. We're gonna let her take it off, let it rest. We'll take these corn off. And I will meet you inside. We're gonna let these steaks rest a few minutes. Get our baked potatoes going on and uh, Let's get some supper. Slide that butter on the corn. Time for the steak. All right, let's see how this thing looks. Tell you what, right there, look. Medium rare, right where I wanted it. All right, so let's cut into this big old monster of a steak and see what she tastes like. Got a little bit of season from the salt and pepper and garlic. That wood flavor just rolls right on through there. And this is a big old monster steak, so let's see what this taters like. Man. That's why I get mad when I go out to eat, because can't nobody cook as good as I do. Alright, final thing, corn on the cob. That corn actually picks up that wood flavor. So, to me it's excellent. I love it. Some different, something new on bull corn or froze corn that's just fresh. And so, just grilled it up like you saw, nothing special, easy peasy. So, just shut the camera off, go over there, eat this supper, watch a little live PD. Talk to y'all later. <laughs>